It was called a miracle cure, but in reality, it was a nightmare. In the 1930s, Portuguese neurologist Antonio Igas Moniz introduced the lobotomy, a procedure that involved severing connections in the brain's frontal lobe to treat mental illness. It was crude. It was violent. And it won him the Nobel Prize in 1949. Then came Walter Freeman, an American doctor who took lobotomy to the next level, using an ice pick through the eye socket, performing thousands of procedures in hospitals, asylums, even in his van, which he called the lobotomobile. Some patients, like Rosemary Kennedy, the sister of President John F. Kennedy, were left mentally incapacitated for life, unable to speak or care for themselves. Others, like Howard Dulley, who was lobotomized at just 12 years old, survived but struggled with severe emotional detachment. Yet, in rare cases, some saw improvement, people once trapped in violent psychosis became calmer. But at what cost? Memories stolen. Emotions erased. Lives destroyed. Lobotomy was banned, but the scars remain. A chilling reminder of what happens when science goes too far.